Hey lovely crafters, welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm going to do a haul. So the first thing I bought was actually from a friend on Instagram. Um, but I did link this in my description for Dies to Die For and Seven Hills. This is Carnival Cupcakes. I just think it's totally adorable and I cannot wait to use this. So yeah, I've been looking at some videos and get some ideas and inspiration. So I cannot wait to play with that. Now I bought some stuff from Dice to Die For and... The first thing I bought was the coordinating dice for Carnival Cupcakes. And the reason I bought them from Dice to Die For is because they were cheaper than Seven Hills. So I tend to purchase the cheapest, um, but if I'm not buying more than five items from one site, I won't buy it until like the month after. So the next one I have is one by Penny Johnson. This is all warm inside. I just think it's a really cute fall stamp. And where I live at the moment, it is absolutely freezing cold. Um, we're having hailstones and showers and stuff like that. So being inside with a nice hot drink is definitely something I can relate to. The next one is a whimsical stamp. Now I can't link this because it has been discontinued. So if I can find it elsewhere, then I will try and link it. But at the moment, I just cannot. This is Lil Jack and Bobbin's Christmas. And people are going to be thinking, why are you buying Christmas stamps? But I love buying Christmas stamps, ready for when that time comes. So I also have the hashtag sentiments, which is a rubber stamp. I'm not a big fan, just because I'd never know my placements, but we'll figure it out. And then I have the year nine die set and the reason why I only have the die set is like I said it's cheaper so I ended up buying the die off dice to die for and the stamp set from seven hills but so here's the seven hills so I bought quite a few stencils so the first one was by echo park and paper co um, and this is a 6 by 6 stencil and it's in ship anchors I thought these would be great for like a mail card so I also have the newton's nook um, this is in gingham, again another masculine thing but also could be used for like a picnic cloth or something. And then I also have the hound's tooth. And then I have the grass one, again I can't link this because I cannot find it. So unfortunately I can, can't link, um, but if you can find it then great. So here's the Asia 9 slash taco stamp set which goes with the coordinating die that I bought from dice to die for so my friend did this on her page and I saw it and I just fell in love with it so that's why I bought that I have the Winnie and Walter stamp set with from the bottom of my heart which I'll be using soon and then I also have the monster mash I think this is adorable and I have a great idea which I cannot wait to share with you so hopefully I can get it to work out for me. And that was all from Seven Hills. The next is from eBay. Now if you guys know me or have been following me for quite a while, then you'll know eBay is one of my go-tos if I cannot find something. So I bought some cup sequins. So I have the purple shades because I needed some new purples. And I wanted some pastel yellows, but this is the closest I could find and nobody can tell me any other person that does pastel yellow sequins so it's as good as it's gonna get then I bought a t-square ruler because I cannot draw a straight line for the sake of me and I still can't draw a straight line when I had this I tried it the other day um, it's the straightest my lines have ever been so you know I have to be patient I guess um, but maybe I need to buy some squared paper and just like maybe that'll help so now I also have some more of my Memento Dewdrop inks. Now I'm trying to buy all the colours, but like they are quite expensive. Like, well they're not expensive compared to like Distress Oxides. Like Distress Oxides are like £5 per cube. I pay £2.25 each for these. And yeah, I'm trying to get all the lot. I have another 12 to buy. So, so I bought Lilac. I can't pronounce it. I also bought some Sweet Plum and I have used this. But I cannot remember what project I used it on. For the life of me, I went through some of my videos and I just cannot remember which one. So I'm just bringing in a bit of scrap paper. And here's what I'm 
just swatched it for you. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, I then bought Toffee Crunch. So I, I can do more coffee related things. And then Lulu Lavender. Basically, I asked a friend when she went live on her Instagram to so pick a number between one and seven. And she picked, I think, four and three. And that's the ones I ended up buying. This is how I store them. So these containers came from Aldi, which is the store we have in the UK. But you could probably get these in B&M, The Range, Poundland, the container store. You name it, they probably sell it. Um, I also have the Woodward collection. So you can tell I've used this. Um, because it's upside down, but it's the Mother's Day stamp. Uh, I have linked it. And then also I have this light. Now this light is motion censored, so I put the batteries in, but just turn one away, so that way it wouldn't continuously turn on before I got to do this haul. Um, I'm going to put that back in. And there we go. Um, so this is going under where my desk is. So every time I look for a sequin or some form of adhesive, I don't have to, like, turn my phone on for the screen to make the light so I can see what I'm doing. So this will turn on automatically. So I cannot wait to put this on. So it has a magnet so you can attach it to anything more metal. And then also it comes with a sticky pad as well. So that is that. And then we went and got some more of my cartridge paper. So I have learned from my very first mistake on my very first haul. Um, I showed you my address, which I really shouldn't have done. Uh, so now I do tend to t put a um, black marker over the top of my address. But most people do know my address because I'm part of a birthday card swap. So quite a lot of people do know that. So here's my cartridge paper. And I feel like these, they've, they've downgraded the thickness. I cannot remember, so I'm going to have to look at that. Because that was 135, I'm convinced the old one was 160. And then I went to the range. So I lost my cards that I bought, which were exactly the same as these, but I just don't know what I've done with them. So I thought I'd buy two packs. So it's the 4x4 square textured cards and envelopes. And on my look, I will now find them. I then also bought a cut and make die. This is Friends. I cannot link this, guys. But if you go to the range, they have tubs of them and you just go through them. And then I bought some more sequins. So some of these I already have, and then some of them I don't. So these ones I already have, and so do I have them. These were the first ones I ever bought. And then these ones were just some new ones. Now the brown one I think would look great for like a coffee, or my thanks a lot stamp set. I think that would look great. And then I bought some purple because most of my swaps I tend to give sequins away, and purple is the favorite color. But that is it for this haul guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure you like, subscribe and comment, follow me on my socials and I will see you in my next video guys, stay safe and happy crafting!